Hello again, my friends. Um, I sure like reading to you in person instead of on videos, but I guess this is the best we can do right now. So here comes chapter nine of Zoe and Sassafras, and it is called Sassafras with a question mark at the end. Hmm. Um, just so you remember, before this, Zoe and Sassafras had conducted a food experiment to find out what the little baby dragon would want to eat. And it turned out that it loved marshmallows, especially toasted marshmallows, when it breathed its fire on the marshmallows. So they ended up calling the baby dragon Marshmallow. And I think that's where we ended the last chapter. And Zoe was sad because she forgot to take a picture of the dragon and she wanted to um, see if any part of that picture would glow or be magical like um, the one of Pip for her mom. So we'll see. Chapter 9, Sassafras. I woke up early and reached out to give Sassafras his morning snuggle. His usual spot by my feet was cold and empty. I sat up and looked around my room. No Sassafras. Sassafras, I hollered. Sassafras? Still nothing. He woke always here. He was always here when I woke up. Where could he be? He had to be around here somewhere. Maybe he went out to the barn. I quickly threw on a jacket and hat. Sure was cold out. I opened the barn door and called out, Sassafras, are you in there? Instead of running to greet me, I heard him meow from Marshmallow's pen. I peeked at them. Sassafras, you scared me. What are you doing in here? Were you missing Marshmallow, sweet boy? I held out my hand, expecting Sassafras to come over for his morning cuddles, but he wouldn't budge from the dragon's side. I got closer and put a hand down to pet both Sassafras and Marshmallow. As soon as my hand touched Marshmallow's back, I jumped. He was like a block of ice. Why was he so cold? Oh no, something was really wrong. And then it hit me. Our little dragon was a reptile. How could I have forgotten that reptiles can't make their own heat? I jumped to my feet in search of a heater. Thankfully, the third cabinet I looked in had one. I let out a big sigh of relief. I plugged it in and set it in the pen facing the dragon. I should have remembered this. Only a few months ago, my friend Sophie went on vacation. She had just gotten the sweetest little baby lizard as a pet. I was over the moon excited to watch him while she was gone. When she brought him over, this big lamp thing was resting on top of his terrarium. Sophie told me that it was his heat lamp and she made me pinky promise to be really careful about always leaving it on.